In this video, we'll be doing a little bit of random shape deformation in Spark AR Studio and then projecting the camera texture onto it. Start things off here in Cinema 4D where I'll make my geometry, but first I'm going to change my project to B millimeters and then I'm going to add in a cube. And I want to put a few more segments into that. So just two in the X. Let's turn on the line so we can actually see it. And then two in the Y. And two in the Z. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger in the Y. Make it 30 centimeters. And now I'll make that editable by pressing C. And that is now an editable uh, shape. Get a rectangle selection. Get the points. Select those top points and I want to turn it to a zero and then zero in the X and the Z in the size just to make it come into a point. And then I'm going to do the same with the bottom of it as well. Just select those points and then turn it to zero in the X and zero in the Z. Now I want that just to be a little bit taller so I'm just going to stretch it up a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. And I want to add in a little bit of some subdivisions. So I press U and I press S to subdivide it. I'm going to do that twice just to put a few more faces in there so that when I do the next thing, it's got something to deform. Yeah, that's probably enough. And then add in a deformer, a displacer. I just held down the shift and that's how the child. And then add in noise in the shader. And then inside that shader, you can already see it's deforming it a bit. I want to turn on the animation speed. You'll see why in a second. I'm just going to make that 10. It's going to make it pretty crazy, but that's what I want. And I want to make that a bit stronger. So I'm just going to turn the height up here. I'm going to make it quite strong. Yeah, about there. Looks all right. Let's just play that and we'll have a look. See, that's the sort of thing I was after. So I'm just going to use this to generate a few different uh, versions of the geometry basically. Chuck a material on it first, just go create new standard material, open that up, I'm just going to tick off the reflection, just want the colour. Now if I drag that over onto it. Now I will right click and then go current state to object which has made a new version of of that current state. I'm just going to do that about four or five times, just going along and current state to object. Just keep doing that, moving along and then right clicking and then current state to object. Just creating different versions of the, the same shape basically. Yeah, that's probably enough. Now I'm just going to delete that original one because I don't want that anymore. And then these, I'm just going to bring them out of their uh, nulls that they're in. And so I will use these uh, five different sort of versions of the same shape to, to create the, the deformation, the distortion of the, the, uh, the shape in the spark. And just rename them just to tidy it up a bit. Cube one, cube two, cube three, four, and then five. Now it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's ready to export. And just come up and then file, export as FBX, and save that out. And chuck it over into uh, Spark. I'm just going to call that, let's call it Shape Morph, and then over into Spark. All right, then come down here, let's go File, Import from Computer, Import that FBX. So I will make this available if you don't have Cinema 4D to use. Just drag that in, and the sizes all come in pretty good. That looks good. And I click on the material, I'm going to change it to standard, just so we can see what we've got there. Yep. Now you can see all the different uh, shapes there that have come in. I'm just going to hide those four and just leave this top one. And then over here in the deformation, I choose Shape Morph. And then you can see if I'm just dragging these sliders up, it's morphing it to be all those different versions. So I click on the little arrow there to make a patch for that. Scale that down a little bit. And then 
Going to add asset, import from AR library, go to patch assets, and then view all, and then I'm looking for the random number range, import. Yep, and now I'll just drag that into my patch editor. Now some of these uh, numbers are a bit high, so I need to turn the minimum value to be zero and then the maximum to be one. And then if I link that up, you can see it's doing its thing. And it's um, it's got damping on, I'm gonna turn that down to 20 just to make it a bit smaller. And the duration is across one second and it's just randomly uh, deforming that basically. So if I repeat that same thing for all the other versions here, just to create a little bit more randomness is what I'm after. Uh, same thing, I'm just copying and pasting that and then hooking it up to the percentage in the, um, the deformation. Let's have a little bit better look what's going on here. And just choose these other two. Yeah, just copy and paste. And then copy and paste that one too. And just link that up. Now they are all, the duration for all of them is across one second. So I just want to change that just so they're offset a little bit. So they're not all, all sort of changing at the same time. I'm just going to leave that at one and then put 1 1.2, 1.4, and then 1.6. Okay, so that's just offset them a little bit. So a little bit more random. You can see it's sort of changing at different speeds a little bit. Which is the sort of look I'm after. Now I'm going to add in an action, animate, spin, just to make it move. And it is a bit too fast. So in the duration, uh, let's change it to five seconds. That looks a bit better. Um, so yeah, that is just spinning it around. And then come up to the camera, extract the texture from the camera. And then come over to your material that was imported and then under the texture, choose the camera texture and there we have it. And I'm just gonna rename that to person just to tidy it up a little bit. Change the video so that you can see me. There I am, hello. Now, add in a rectangle just to block out the background. Let's put in a canvas with the rectangle. I click on that rectangle and then go up to size and then go fill width. And then fill height, then add a material. In that material, just rename BG. I uh, just want it to be a bit darker. So let's get a bit of a, get it a bit darker. And that looks about right. And then I want to add a bit of specular into it as well. Just made it quite a fair bit brighter. So I will just make it a little bit darker. Just to get the sort of look I'm after. That looks looking a bit better. Oh, looking a little bit dark. So I'll come up here to the light, to the ambient light, just boost that up a bit, just because it's all a bit too dark. There we have it. So creating a random geometry deformed in Cinema 4D and then using that as a deformer within Spark.